Another best clamp demonstration is with my cross-cutting sled that John McCormick described in Fine Woodworking August 2008 cover story issue. And this is MDF uh, cross-cutting sled that he built. And I added a couple things to it namely the docking station for it, and I call it the uh, stealth bomber because it resembles the shape of the stealth bomber and it's actually quite bomber, meaning that it can do many tasks for a shot, cross-cutting things square. Anyway, this is my uh, telescoping um, stop flip stop and come out to at least 77 inches. Uh, I can make a longer one but I haven't got them around to doing that yet. And this is how I lock it into place since the Craig top track is kind of in the way of my stop. Um, I could have made this a little wider to clamp it down but I, I uh, just did this in prompt, you know, as quickly as I could one day. And uh, anyway, I grab a clamp, which I can't seem to find right now. Where did I put those clamps? Oh. <laughs> that would have been good to have. Andy. Okay, here's my clamp that I put in here for my telescoping stop. And now... locked into place, it's not moving anywhere, and I can cut something uh, long. And of course that's too long, so I'm going to set it to wherever I want it. And cross cut large panels. This sled also cross cuts up to 36 and a half inches wide. It also rides back onto my rip um, support, table support, and feet support. So it, it could cross cut quite a bit. Here's my telescoping flip stop for my bomber sled, cross-cutting sled, that John McCormick described in the August 2008 Fine Woodworking magazine. It was a cover story. And it just slides in and out the stop, but it also is um, locked into place with the Festool clamp, which is a very important tool, and I wouldn't call it an accessory as Festool does because it's a tool. It does a lot of work for me in many different circumstances. And I can easily cut um, things to length. So in order to put this back and to keep it the cross cutting sled square at all times, I don't want to lift it off because it's pretty heavy and uh, I don't want to bump it into something else, other tools in the shop. Um, I just slide it around the table like this and it docks into its hanger is docking station. Uh, the bomber cross-cutting sled. The stealth bomber.